Dr. Paul Dyer. Welcome to our emotional reaction training. So I'm just going to go over just a little small bits and pieces of what we call emotional reaction. Now we know that emotion is all around us and inside of us, right? So the simplest part is, is that we're going to say that it's, it's an internal and an external. Now why is it why is it called emotional reaction training? You know, it's this that we are working on, right? It's not so much of trying to control. This is not about controlling your emotions. It's about uh, first it's about understanding. Now I'll end up posting some of this on the clip itself so you can reread the notes. <clears throat> understand your emotions. Understand where they come from, how they have manifested, how they have grown like a flower. So I'm going to start that by using the flower, okay? And I'm going to use flower buds, okay? And of course the flower has roots, okay? And it has stems, right? It has stigma up here, and you know, and it in life travels in the flower in itself. Okay, so as a flower, it's because we're very organic, we, we move and we grow, we use the sun's nutrients, the almighty sun, right? So it's not the reaction that's happening. Now training, what are we really training? We're training to use our understanding. Using our understanding. Reaction is motion. Reaction is motion. The motion can either be mental or physical. Yes, reaction is either mental or physical. Okay, now if we use emotions, and it's emotions reaction training, it's really understanding our emotions, where it manifests from, how it came about, and if we're training, training to understand and to use our understanding of our mental and physical motion, meaning movement, meaning movement, motion, meaning movement, movement. Now, when I mean movement, we also know that internal and movement is external. That's why if you ever see us when we're Tai Chi or Qigong, we're katas. We are working on the internal, moving it through the external. That's why as martial scientists have been doing this for thousands of years. This is not a new science. This is a lot of neuroscientists catching up with the brain mapping, and I understand that. So, <clears throat> with our sciences, we understand that if this the flower is what you are noticing. And what have you noticed in the, in the flower? It's all five senses. Feel, taste, smell, hearing, seeing, right? And these are the flowers. So it's feel, taste, see, well, a little bit bad on my writing there sometimes. Um, here, touch five senses. Five senses. If you use this down in here, just like we would use our spine, and that's where things travel. Now, here's where the science comes in on the cellular side. 
the spine uses and in our brain and our brain we use cells to communicate cells is what communicates through our body cells is what moves nutrients throughout our bodies. There's different type of micro cells, there's different type of cells. There are all types of cells. Understand that. So keeping the center the roots are our environment, right? Education, your experience. Your energy, these things down here, your roots, helps you understand how this grows. Because this affects this, which affects the signal in here, which is going to communicate with the cells. Communication. So, real quick, let's go over this really fast and we can always come back to this later. Emotional reaction training. It's an internal, it's an external. Emotion reaction training is understanding your emotions, understanding where it manifests from. Reaction is motion of the mental and the physical. Motion meaning movement. Okay? Meaning movement. Training. Use our understanding of our reaction, of our movement, from the internal to the external movement. The movement comes from the brain's understanding, from its roots, that could be blocks, and the spine used from cells for communication. In our roots, we have environmental causes, we know that, right? And we have education, things you were taught, things of how you were taught, okay? And then you have experiences. What have I experienced, how I've experienced it, and what does it mean to me, how I experience it? And energy. We know life's energy, and if energy comes from the almighty sun, right? When we talk energy, we're talking vibrations, codes, the sacred geometry of life. Understanding how this maps out inside of you is so important. This is emotional reaction training. And this is an easy way for me to help teach you so you can understand. If you have any questions, you contact me because I give private lessons a lot. Okay, So a lot of people have more questions about the this for themselves and how it works in their lives. Anytime, anywhere.